434. That's a new personal best. Oh my gosh. My slow cool down heart rate is already at 70. That's really good. My BMI is 19, which is literally perfect for my height and build. My oxygen levels are through the roof right now. Sounds good. I bet you're thinking about my weight vest right now. I jog in it, I lift weights in it, I sleep in it. I literally wear it everywhere. It weighs 140 pounds. So you don't swim in it? <laughs> no one swims in it. That's crazy. Hmm. I swim in mine. My BMI is 18. Really? See for yourself. If you can. How's your O2 level now? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. As you'll see, we have a whole slew of new targets from Action Targets. More on those later. We do have a dueling tree, so let me know in the comments who you would like to see me duel against and definitely beat. No one can touch this. Have you ever wondered, are workout vest, weighted workout vest, bulletproof? So these are just your standard, like, you know, workout vest, and you slide weights inside them. They have some that are like this, that have these sandbags inside them, and some like this, that have little metal rods inside them. Both metal and sand are used in real world applications to stop bullets, but will they stop it in a workout vest. That's what we're here to find out today. We're gonna to start in classic Demolition Ranch style, shooting a 22 long rifle out of this pistol. First we will shoot at the vest with the bags of sand, and then we will shoot at the vest with the metal plates in it. Not sure why I was wearing ear pro with that. Sometimes I forget. Okay, our hit right here. Right here, hit it on the side, and did not make it through. So right there's our hit, nothing in the back. So we have a bullet in the sandbag. Here's our hit on the metal, and there's where it hit, not even a scratch on there. So we are good. 22 long rifle, assuming it hits your metal plates or your uh, sandbags will stop. If you go in between them, probably not, but most of you is protected. Let's try a nine millimeter. Don't you hate it when the bad guys come in and they're wielding a old German Luger? Nine millimeter. Let's go ahead and go for the sand first. That definitely hit metal. And now the metal targets. Let's see what we got. I forgot to put the sandbag back in this. Uh, whoops. There's the reason that one hit metal. I was really worried. I was like, I thought that was a good shot. It was, but I didn't put the sandbag back in there. So it went right through and killed our little friend right there. Okay, let's check this. Holy cow. Oh, we definitely, definitely hit some plates here. I think it, I think it survived. Oh yeah. There's our nine millimeter. Perfect hit right on the plate. We do have a slight bend in it, but that thing stopped it with ease. Once that bullet hit the plate, all the fragments from it went everywhere and busted our stitching. But, oh yeah, there's actually the bullet pieces of it right there. Okay, let's try again and we'll be less dumb this time. Oh, I heard no ding. That was the hit when there was nothing there. This is the hit just now. And there's our hit. Uh-oh. We went through it looks like. I didn't hear a ding though. Change up. Look at this. One hole where there was no bag there. This one was where there was a bag there. And then I saw the hole in the back of this bag, but then I look to the back of this and there's only one hole here. So then I start racking my brain trying to figure out how the heck is there only one hole when there's definitely a hole in the back of this. But I looked and 
the bullet is actually still in here. It just pressed the back of this hard enough to rip it open. But check that out. It did, in fact, stop our 9mm. But barely. Both vests have stopped a 9mm. Do you know what's cool? Guns are cool. Now what's a cool kind of gun, you might ask? Well, 1911s, those are cool. Now what is the coolest 1911? Well, it's a gold 1911, of course. Now, you may ask yourself, Matt, is that a brand new gun? No, it's not. This gun I've had for, well, a couple years. Matt, why haven't you showed this gun to us? You're supposed to show us all your new purchases. I have showed you this gun. You just don't remember it because it was not gold the last time you saw this. I actually got this gun, I bought it a couple years ago so Drewski and I could make a Battlefield 1 video. What is that? I don't know. Let's wait till he reloads and then we'll come up and we'll both shoot at the same time. Okay. I needed a 1911 that looked like the old World War I 1911. So I bought this cheap Cimarron 1911 and it was matte black, not very exciting looking. It was like a $350 gun or something. And I've kept it because I didn't really, I'm not a 1911 guy. I don't have a bunch of 1911. So I kept it because I was like, ah, oh, now I have a 1911. But I always was kind of like, God, it's a boring gun. And so I found this company called titaniumgun.com and they, I sent it off to them and they coated it in what's called titanium nitride, which is a super hard, super durable, and also super thin finish. You can still read all the letters, which I didn't realize I was gonna be able to like, re I didn't know how thick it would be, but they did a great job. You can see the insides all done as well. They did the mag, even the follower is gold. Everything on this gun is gold. What a beautiful piece. And so I want to say thanks to Titanium Gun for hooking up this gun and turning a boring 1911, nothing wrong with Cimarron, nothing against the company, I've never talked to him, but the gun works fine, it was just boring. Turning a boring 1911 into a showpiece. So we're gonna shoot a 45 ACP at both targets. Oh, a lot of sand fell out there. What we got. I think 45 ACP does not stop. Nope. <laughs> yeah, there's where our round hit right there. 45 ACP kept on trucking, went right through the back of that thing. Bummer, dude. On the metal plate target, though, different story. Went in here, as you can see, nothing came through there. There's our 45 ACP hit, and you can see bent it even more than the 9mm did. But Totally stopped the bullet. I decided to give the sand one more test. A little bird shot from a 12 gauge. So the problem is at this close distance, all that bird shot was pretty much delivered in one spot. Yeah, and went right through. Okay, sand, you're dead to me. Now what about this? <laughs> I shot right at the middle, so of course it destroyed our zipper, but all these, you can see where they, they hit. All the ones that hit the metal, definitely stopped. There's a bunch of them right there, but everything that went through and <laughs> didn't hit metal went straight through and peppered our target in the belly. I have showed you guys my Taurus Raging Bull, chambered in 44 Magnum, a very large pistol. And then later, I got a Taurus Raging Hornet, an even bigger pistol, but chambered in a smaller round. It's a 22 Hornet. I saw this thing in a gun shop and I just had to have it. Then Taurus went and did something. They came out with an updated 44 Magnum called the Taurus Raging Hunter. And of course, I was like, I already have a Taurus Raging Bull in 44 Magnum, but I don't have the Raging Hunter. So I went and picked it up. And uh, it's got a little bit longer barrel. It's uh, got a Picatinny rail on the top. It's got nice porting in that barrel. Look at that thing. So let's go ahead and see how she does against our metal vest. But I'm also going to try to dual wield, which is it's a terrible idea. I probably will only hit one of the two, but I'm gonna try to hit two of two. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Definitely missed one of them. That's for sure, possibly both of them. Yeah, I was trying to miss both those. Just went and checked. There's Definitely no new holes in our target. So let's just only shoot one gun at a time. Yay! 
we're missing a plate. And I look down on the ground and there's this one. And it got hit right there. I guess that was on the top. This one was like right here. So it bent it over that much, but of course did not go through. So I guess we're gonna have to go more powerful. Let's step it up to bigger than a 44 Magnum. I'm thinking a 300 Blackout. I actually did not own a 300 Blackout until just recently. I got this thing from gcgoutdoors.com. It is a SIG Rattler, and they are an online gun store where if you are a member, you can get guns for nearly dealer pricing. They're almost as low as what a dealer pays for them. So super good deals over at gcgoutdoors.com. Go check them out if you're interested. And we are going to shoot this little SIG Rattler pistol, which is chambered in 300 blackout. And this will be the first time I have fired it. Let me see if the sights are close. I just threw them on today. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot at the target. Oh man, we might have made a boo-boo there. <laughs> Took a little digging because it knocked a big hole in this thing, but actually did not go through. This is where the 300 blackout hit and it totally bent it, but also totally stopped it. It just exploded all the fabric around and everything started falling out. Before we go bigger though, I wanna try something with that 300 Blackout. Where 300 Blackout really shines is with subsonic ammo in a suppressed rifle. This is the Silencer Co. Omega chambered in 300. And let's go ahead and shoot some subsonic out of it. Ah! Let's shoot into the dirt so you really hear how quiet it is. I think I have found my new truck gun. I'm tired of this stupid plate blocking everything I shoot at it. So I'm gonna shoot it with a 300 wind mag out of my Falcor Petra. Ugh, I haven't brought this gun out on the channel in a while. Let's go ahead and let her rip. Let me go ahead and dial down this a little bit. Okay, we're gonna fire two rounds into that plate. I love that gun. Oh, ouch, dude. Okay, 300 blackout, did not slow down for that one. What is this? Oh, here's where the other one hit. <laughs> I think I said 300 blackout. 300 wind mag will not stop. You may stop at 300 blackout. You will stop at 300 blackout with your metal plate. You will not stop a real rifle caliber at like a 300 wind mag. That thing ain't playing around. <laughs> <laughs> to summarize, if this is all you got, it's not bad. It's not great, it's not bad. If you want great though, we're gonna hook you up. We teamed up with AR500Armor.com. They sent us this bulletproof armor plate. It has AR500 steel inside, and we are gonna send it to one lucky winner. All you gotta do is go to our Instagram. I'm gonna have a picture of me wearing this plate, and all you need to do is tag one of your friends in it. We're gonna pick your friend, not you. So you better make sure your friend goes back on there and tags you in it. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I loud love you and I'll see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby! personal best. Holy cow. My cooldown heart rate's already at 72. That is amazing. I was supposed to start drinking water. Yes! Woo! I did it! 402. Wow. My recovery heart rate. Heart rate. Dang it.